Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about decompressing a folder, okay, or an or unzipping. So let's see. Here uh, you can see a folder of type compressed or zipped. Okay, the name of the folder is unzip. If we click on it, we can see that it has these many files. Okay, some are text files some are CSV and Excel worksheet. Okay, so our purpose is if the source file is like this, okay, it is compressed or zipped, then in the target or in the destination, we want it to be unzipped. We want a folder to be created containing these many files. Okay, so how to accomplish this in Data Factory? This is very simple. So for this purpose, we will create first a pipeline. Let's name it as unzip. Okay. And then we'll take a copy activity because we are simply taking the file from that location and unzipping it. So copy activity will suffice for this purpose. Now our uh, next step is to connect to the source data set. So our source file uh, is present inside the cloud knowledge chain to container inside the source folder as unzip.zip okay as I have shown here okay so we'll browse to this location gen2 so data lake storage gen2 for any of the zip files we have to select the format as binary only so let's select binary let's name it as unzip input link service is already in place for that storage location so we'll select it then we'll browse to that location it's inside the source folder as unzip.zip so we'll select it we'll click ok next what we'll do we'll open this source data set so we'll open it and then we have to uh, select the compression type this is important because we are going to uh, decompress it so we'll select the compression type as zip deflate dot zip okay so this will select next comes the compression level will select it as optimal done next we'll go back to the pipeline and we'll go to the sync and select the new data set we'll place the file in the gen2 storage only it will be of type binary we'll write it as unzip output link service storage one file path as target let's say this time in the target folder we want the decompressed file and we'll click ok okay so this is done next here in the sync we have a setting called copy behavior so we will in our case we'll preserve the hierarchy Pre preserve the hierarchy means there will be a separate folder created at the target uh, folder of this container with unzipped uh, name. and inside that unzip folder we'll have those decompressed or unzipped files so here we have selected preserve hierarchy source setting is done okay uh, the data set de setting is done compression type and compression level these two are the main settings for unzipping okay now we will validate the mapping it's validated and next we will click on the debug run to execute the pipeline in debug mode so let's wait for the pipeline to be completed So here we can see that the pipeline is completed, succeeded. So what we'll do next, we'll go to the container. This time we'll go to the target location where we landed our output file. So here you can see unzip.zip folder is created with the same name because we have selected preserve hierarchy in the sync setting. And we can see all the files which were present inside that compressed folder. Okay, so this is how we can unzip a folder in ADF simple so important point to note here in unzipping is the data set it should be binary then inside that data set the compression type and the compression level selection then in the sync level the copy behavior the way you want to um, make the file appear in the target location so this is how unzipping is done in ADF thank you for watching the video happy learning take care